O'Connor. We're joined now by Billy O'Connor. Had a pretty well-pitched game today. You struck out nine Huskies. The mistakes, though, were hit out of the ballpark, and that was a big difference. Yeah, you know, they're, they're a good offensive team, and um, our fields play, always play small, but it was especially playing smaller. They're both for us and against us, but, uh, you know, credit to them. They, they hit a couple mistake pitches out, and um, that's what you're supposed to do with mistake pitches. So I thought both of our guys, Ethan and, and Justin, really competed on the mound. Um, like I said, the mistakes that they made, they, they, they were punished for, and, you know, that, that's baseball. But it was a great baseball game, two teams competing back and forth, top 25 caliber game in my opinion. Absolutely. I know there are no moral victories, Billy, in a game like this, but to see a Connecticut team that in the last couple of years has beaten you guys in the Big East tournament title game to now go out there in a game like this, compete, have the lead for a lot of the game. I know it slipped away there at the end, but what can you take away positively from this game? No, I don't take anything away positive. We lost. We're, we're, I think we're as good as Connecticut. Uh, we've been chasing them, right? And we haven't been uh, been there, but we've been playing with them for years, you know. And we got to get over that hump, and we didn't get over that hump today. So certainly no moral victories. Uh, positive as we competed, you know. I was proud of the way our guys got after it today, but uh, we're, we're not into moral victories because we kept it close with Connecticut. That's a really good team. That I have a ton of respect for. It's a team I think we're as good as right now. Put together back-to-back -to -back three run innings. Alex Hellman had a big shot, so he continues to produce for you. But those last four innings didn't score a run there. Had a chance right at the end. What was the difference maybe in those last four innings? Yeah, we threatened. You know, it wasn't that we uh, we packed it in and didn't get uh, any threats out there. We had guys in scoring position. We had bases loaded, I think, in the eighth. We had a guy at third in the ninth. Um, it just came up a hit short, you know, and that, that's baseball. I, I thought we put together good at-bats throughout the course of the game. Um, sometimes they fall, sometimes they don't. Uh, I was happy with our offense performance. It was a good arm they ran out against us and good guys out of the pen that they ran against us. So uh, I was pleased with us offensively. You know, just we were hit or, hit or two away, but you can't fault them. You know, that, that's baseball. That tied for the lead in the Big East standings right now, the massive opportunity, two games tomorrow. Uh, what can you take away from this game to look forward to with those with that doubleheader tomorrow? Yeah, you know, I, I like the way that our guys have responded to adversity all year. You know, I mean, we got punched in the, in the mouth today, and you lose a, a close one like that when you have a lead. It hurts, you know, but I know that our guys will respond and we'll come out ready to go tomorrow. 18 innings, a, a great baseball tomorrow, and I'm excited to get after it. That's a great team across the way. You know, they're going to show up, and uh, I know they're not going to pack it in. I know they're not going to get complacent. We just got to be a, a tick better tomorrow, you know, and I know we'll show up and we'll be ready to go tomorrow too. Coach, thanks. Appreciate your time.